Welcome to another tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to copy the last record that was entered into a form so you can make some changes to it without having to retype all the data. Okay, here's the setup. You're entering in product information, but you want to be able to copy the last product that was entered so you can keep all the same information, perhaps aside from one field, like the serial number. The product name, the sale price, the date entered is all going to be the same, but you're going to change the serial number field. So I don't want to have to retype all this stuff, and I don't want the user to have to copy and paste it. I want to be able to click on one button right here, and it copies everything from the last record entered aside from this one little field right here. Now we could write some code that would go to a new record, go to the previous record, select the record, copy it, go back to the new record again, and then paste it. But that's kind of messy. So we're going to use two commands called dmax and dlookup that will look up the latest, the most recently entered product, and then set the new record equal to whatever that product's values were. So here's how we're going to do it. Let's go to design view. Let's grab a command button, drop it on our form. I'm going to cancel the wizard and do a little programming here. Right click, build event, code builder. We'll put us in the VBA editor. There it is. We our own little command right there. I'm going to dim an ID as a long integer so I can look up a value, the product ID, and store it in a value. Now, what's that value? Well, the ID is going to be equal to the largest product ID because as you enter records into your table, the auto numbers are automatically incremented, so the largest one should be the most recently entered. And to find the largest value, you use the dmax function. dmax, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the product ID, comma, from what table? The product table. So that will give me the largest product ID in the table. Now that I have that value, I can look up the other fields in that record. But before we do that, let's go to a new record. Do command dot go to record, comma, comma. We're going to ignore some default values there. AC new rec is right there. That's a new record. So now we're sitting on a new blank record. Now we can use dlookup to get the other values. So I'm going to say product name. That's the product name on the form that we're on. This guy right there, product name, equals dlookup. That means get me a value from the table directly. Product name, comma, from the product table. What's my criteria where the product ID equals that value that we demaxed earlier, right? So I'm going to close up the quotes and say ID. That's going to say, go out to the product table, find me the product name where the product ID equals whatever the largest value was. So product ID equals 6, for example. Now I just do this for the other fields that I wanted. So product name, sale price, date entered, and I'm going to leave serial number blank because we're going to type in a new serial number for each record. So I just copy and paste this stuff. Watch this. Select all that. Copy. Paste. Paste. We need two more fields, right? This will be sale price. And we'll copy that and stick it right there because we're looking up the sale price. Remember, this here is the value from the form. This is the value straight out of the table. Date entered. Copy that one. Paste it there. Now we've got those three values set. And when we're done, we're going to say serial number dot set focus. So the cursor is sitting on the serial number field ready for more data entry. All right, so let's save this. I'm going to come back over here to my form. I'm going to close it. I like to close things and reopen them. Open it back up again. All right. There's my 17-inch monitor. I'm going to click the button now, and there we go. It goes to a new record. You can see now two of two. It looked up the largest product ID, copied this, this, and this, and now I'm ready to type in a new serial number. Do all that. Hit the button again. I grabbed it again. Type in another serial number, and I can enter in each item uniquely. And there you can see all my individual items. Now, you can modify this just slightly to copy any record. Let's say you've got a different one in here. Let's say that uh, record 2 is a 19-inch monitor, and it's $120. And I want to copy this one. Well, it's not the most recent one, right? There's other ones in here. So I'm going to copy this guy. 
Sure, you could just copy it and paste it there. But we can make another button very simply to make a copy of the selected record. So I'm going to go in here, Design View. We'll say this button is Copy Most Recent Item. And then we'll make another button. We'll just copy the button, in fact. Copy, paste. Copy Current Item. And the code will be very similar. Let's go into Build Event here. Right-click Build Event, Code Builder. That puts us right downstairs. And in fact, I'm going to copy all this code like that. Copy and stick it down here. Paste. Now the difference is going to be I'm not going to demax the product ID out of the table. I'm just going to say set the ID equal to the current product ID, and that's it. It will look at the current product ID that's on the form and then use that value for the rest of this. All right, let's test it and see if it works. Let's close this. Save changes, yes. Let's open it back up again. Let's find that 19-inch monitor. There it is. And let's copy the current item. And there we go. We're on a blank new record. Copy the 19-inch monitor, the, the selected record. And now I can type in a new serial number. Now, this is an example of where I'd create a separate subroutine, because if you can see here, everything from this line down is exactly the same in both of these subroutines. So this is where I would create a third subroutine, get the ID in here, and then pass it down. And I cover that in my VBA classes, my advanced classes, which you can find on my website at accesslearningzone.com. I have additional lessons on my website also for DMAX, DLOOKUP, and a lot of the things you saw in today's video. So you can find more information on my website, accesslearningzone.com. Thanks for watching.